cops. Today I was pulling civilians out of that dark zone I told you about. Killian. It was my first dark zone ever. It wasn't that bad. Except for just this one thing. We saved a mother and her children who got trapped in there and... I have no idea what got into me. But I wanted to go deeper. I wanted to keep going. Find one more family. One more child. Make sure no one was left behind. I had to make sure. Killian tried to tell me we cleared the dark zone. For some reason, I didn't believe him. We argued. In the middle of it all, a fucking viral jumped on my back. I, I thought I was... I'm lucky. Aiden. Come in. Luan? Oh, come on, Luan, answer me. You there? Ah, great. I fixed the transmitter, and now you go radio silent. City, once more and forevermore. Signing off. Talk to me, Frank. Look, we started off on the wrong foot. I'd like to correct that mistake. Have a drink. Yeah, huh? for me. Uh, Frank, I really don't have time for this. I. I have to find another way to find my... Just listen. Walt needs to access that Jiori place. You get it? That's why we have to find Matt Pilgrim. He's offering a lot of fucking crystals for what he's got. And a lot of boosters. Do I have your attention now? What are those? Renegades, yes. But how did you... The TV station used to be controlled by the military. They did more than just broadcast from there. Thanks to you, we can now listen in on the enemy. It appears that Waltz is looking for the same database you're after. But the observatory is completely soaked with chemicals. <laughs> I have no idea how this GRE crap works, but Waltz sure seems to know. Maybe the observatory is not the only place to access the database. Is this conversation all you have? Uh, for now. But if we got close to their position and hacked into their frequency, we could collect more intel on Watts' plans. How? The transmission you heard was intercepted near an old military antenna in the wharf, just south of Marsh End Lane. If we activate that antenna, it'll boost the signal and we'll be able to hear everything they say. Every syllable and you'd know exactly what Waltz is up to. It'd be quicker if I could just find him. You're impatient, I understand. I know what it feels like to have wasted too much time, but you have to tread carefully. Remember, you said Waltz turned the power back on, then the renegades invaded the central loop. There's something going on, so best to collect as much intel as we can before you confront him. So, you think Waltz ordered the Renegades into the Central Loop? 
Well, until now, the Colonel kept him on a short leash in his stronghold. But the savages we've been seeing lately... What the fuck? Something must have changed. One of the PKs told me that Waltz is after something called, uh, X-13. Doesn't ring any bells. Tell me more about these antennas. The military installed them on the tallest buildings to blanket the entire city. They're extremely hard to access, but all we need is the one nearest to where those renegades were based. When the signal's stronger, we'll be able to hear everything they say. Now, the good thing is, it's the closest antenna to the canteen. You shouldn't have trouble finding it. All right, anything else before I get going? Oh, one more thing. Look at that poster, Aiden. Night runners used to abide by that creed, live by it. I used to think we were as torn apart as that piece of paper, but the creed still means something. And if you increase the range, I can contact the remnants of the old night runners. Some must still be alive. I see it now. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Not just to me, to everyone here. But there's one piece missing. Do you know why I haven't thrown this poster away in all this time? Because of Luan. When I saw her for the first time, she was maybe about eight, nine years old. She was barely alive. She looked like she hadn't eaten in a year. And she was trying to help some kids get a crystal back from a thief. The guy was threatening them with a knife. He was twice their size, stronger, and she jumped on him. Biddy's hands so deep that his screams were heard as far away as old Villador. After that, she gave the crystal to one of the boys and left. She didn't get anything out of it. She didn't have to risk it. I looked at her and thought, this is all we have left. As humans, we can fight one another. Everybody just for themselves. Or, no matter what, we can stand up for each other. Then I wrote down this credo. That little girl helped the Night Runners become who they were for years. And if we are to be reborn, we cannot do it without her. Why not without her? You see, she's a tough one. Maybe too tough. I trained her, helped heal her wounds but never healed the biggest one. Revenge. She's built a mighty thick wall around herself. Can't seem to let go of her anger. If she doesn't, it could destroy her. <laughs> I know, I know. Drunk calling the kettle black, right? I'm in no position to judge, Frank. Thanks. No one's so fucking obsessed with her kill list. She needs to throw that damn thing away. Otherwise, it'll kill her. Let's hope she's better fighting them than I am. What are Luan's demons? Almost too many to count. But Satan himself is at the top. Wait, you mean Hakon? You know him? Yeah, we've met. It all came down to the TV station mission. Hakon was against that from the start. Got Killian on his side. He said it was suicide. But I know the truth. The fucker chickened out plain and simple. Till then, he wasn't just a night runner to me. I thought he was leader material, but he didn't have our backs. Tore the creed in half before he bolted, and with it, tore apart the night runners themselves. Fucking coward. Didn't deserve to lick Lawan's boots. <sighs> Look, I'm starting to get pissed off, and we should focus. What about Hakon killing Lucas? Hmm? That took some balls. Sure, but they weren't his balls, they were Waltz's. Hakon's just the guy's lapdog now. Sit, roll over, assassinate. That's yeah, true. Neutered dogs are even more obedient than they were before. Exactly. Okay, I'm on my way. Then go get him. I'll be on the radio. You remind me of Luan, before she became obsessed with that goddamn hit list of hers. I'll get ears on the renegades for you. I'll find out what Waltz is up to. I promise. Tell me, Philidor. 
Hey, Is that I've you? Got some more exciting Hello, news. Pilgrim. Blankets this is my son. Oh, yeah, this is Aiden. I think we met when your dad was sick. Um, so how's it going, Oya? Oh, yeah? Get lost. Another message of hope. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, sorry about that. Music. He's having a hard time. A lot's changed for us. And what happened? You see, Patricia and I have separated. And once I've recovered, the first thing I wanted to do was get that motherfucker. <laughs> sorry, kid. Cover your ears. You mean that motherfucking waltz? You've cursed like that a hundred times in front of me. Yeah, him. Uh, Patricia had asked me not to. But I wanted revenge on Waltz for killing my men, for killing Lucas, and him escaping punishment, you know? Well, did you get him? Nah. A few days after I was walking again, I started looking for him. And Patricia pleaded with me, but... When I returned home after a few days, I found it empty. Patricia had moved out and taken the boys with her. Most of their things were gone. All I found was a letter. Just a few words, really. <laughs> Apparently, while I was stationed in Old Villador, Patricia had made contact with her ex-husband. I've no idea what she saw in a stuffy old teacher. He's only our teacher. Jeez, Dad. Oh, yeah. Look, I know you're only trying to protect your mother. Although, to be fair, they aren't living together. I don't know what's going on. Mum left because she was tired of it all. She'd had enough. Yeah, that's true. More than enough, I suppose. Uncertainty, fear for me. Wondering whether I'd come back alive. But now I've only got one goal. To get my family back. I know how you feel. Sometimes, in our rush toward our goals, we forget about the people around us. You've been running around, looking for someone this whole time, haven't you? Yes, my sister. Waltz may know something about her. I hope you don't lose yourself, like I have. Patricia won't talk to me. Or oh, yeah, well, you can see for yourself. Only my youngest gives me the time of day. I'm teaching him how to handle weapons. But being with them, Makes me stronger. I won't take any more of your time. I wish you the best, Dater. Wait. Remember Lazarus? It's a solid weapon. And it's unlikely to be of any use to me anymore. I was supposed to kill Waltz with it. You do it for me. You can bet I will. Bye, Oyer. Get lost. the renegades, I'd be out of work right now, or worse. <laughs> That's more Matt's doing. Hey, don't be modest. I'm the house. I'm Nicholas. So you know Frank well? Not old military butts well, but well enough to know back then he was a big shot. A special forces commando. A night runner. Quite the high-ranking mucky muck. Until one mission he led people into the television tower. Ended in a massacre. After that, he ditched the uniform and started the fisheye. Took out a new lease on life, but he became a haunted man. Frank relives that tower mission, start to bloody finish every day. The booze helps him get through it all. I've seen him on a bender. Drinking like that isn't helping him get through anything. Then imagine what he's like when he's not drinking. So, how do things work in this place? The fisheye? They work better than anyone predicted when Frank set up shop. 
two days and the peacekeepers will take it over or the renegades will blow it up. And nobody blew anything up. It's the safest place around by far. Neutral turf. Even bad has come here just to hash out deals over booze. Anyone can relax without the threat of violence. Rivalries are checked at the door. That's a good place to have. Hey, tell me about Luan. Frank says women like her were given call signs based on cocktails. Bloody Mary, Margarita Rocks. Luan is hot shit with a hot temper. You do not want to get on her bad side. Cross her once and that's it. Game over. I gotta go. Wait. You interested in making a bit of money? And how would I do that? It's a simple job. There's a metro station under the fisheye. Used to be UV lamps in the metro that kept the infected at bay. But they stopped working because every tunnel and station is infested. What happened? Might be the lamps, but I doubt it. We've replaced them recently. Maybe something cut the cables. But what? It's not like the infected bit through them. It'd take a lot of biters to accomplish that. On the other hand, heard a couple stories like that. About infected who work together. Somehow coordinated. As if they're smarter than we think. Once, this guy at the bar told me he fell into a trap. He claimed a group of biters herded him into a dead end in a dark zone, intentionally. They didn't act like a typical mindless swarm. Said he only managed to survive by climbing onto a trash bin to reach a fire escape above the pack. But no, I wouldn't put much faith in that. If that were possible, I think we'd see it more often. Could be a blown fuse. Best bet would be to start at the electrical room. So you want me to turn on the lamps? Yeah, get to the electrical room. For all we know, could just be a blown fuse. If so, you could just reset the main power supply from there. Before you go, got a little something that'll help you out. A house specialty. Guaranteed to warm those biters' bellies. Just a bit of house food, a bottle and an old rag. But powerful stuff. Or you can always just sneak in past the biters if you don't want to make a ruckus. Once you turn on the UVs, they'll fry anyway. And you won't end up wasting good hooch. All right, I'll take care of it. Thanks. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. I'm so excited about <laughs> the <laughs> It's a source of hope. What I would give for a bath. Come on. So 
that signals won't extend themselves, you know.
Nicholas, I'm in the control room. Nice. Now just find the switch. Nicholas, the switch didn't work. Damn it. There's another way. Uh, forgive me to try? Let's finish this. There should be an electrical room with military generators further below. Look for an elevator. Maybe you can go down the shaft. Military generators doing in the metro. Seems the tunnels work great for moving troops around the city. Only first they had to clean the infected out. And to do that, they needed a lot of light. That called for a lot of power.
Nicholas, it worked. The generators are up and running. So the intel wasn't some booze-induced fantasy. Now get back up here. I got some beers on ice with your name on them. Honestly, I didn't expect you to go all the way down. I finished what I start. Luan was right. You're one tenacious son of a bitch. What else can I do you for? Where'd that chemical gunk I ran into come from? It was created to fast forward the infection to the terminal stage. Basically kill the infected with a form of premature aging. It wasn't supposed to have any effect on the healthy or recently bitten, like you and me. But it didn't work out that way. So that's why my biomarker goes crazy when I get near it. Yep, but that's not the worst of it. Some say the military knew how lethal the stuff really was. Suited them to finish off every last one of us. Why? Only the colonel knows, but the old bastard never leaves his fortress. But if you really want to know the truth about the GRE, just check out their labs. They're scattered all over town. Lord, the shit that must have gone down there. How do you know so much about military installations? I'm a bartender. I'd get GRE guys in here, incognito, of course. Military brass trying to lie low, even big shot ministers of whatever. After a few generously poured shots, they all had stories to tell. I learned about the Metro generators from the skittish guy in glasses. The retired history teacher type, all buttoned down, needed to spill his guts to someone. Later, they hanged him for war crimes. Got any other work? Well, you could join up with the carriers, especially if you want a crash course on the city. The carriers? Can you tell me more? The Carriers Guild. They're an elite band of messengers delivering letters and packages all over the city. Kind of like pilgrims, except inside the walls. Oh, and they're not outlaws who wander around looking for work. No offense, bro. I'm taken. They know every square inch of this city. You'll learn your way around in no time working for them. Their headquarters is on downtown court, inside the metro station that bears the same name. Here, take this letter to Driscoll. He heads up the guild. Solid guy. He'll give you a shot. You can trust him. Thanks, Nicholas. I gotta go. Thanks, Aiden. With skills like that, you'll find plenty to do around here. But watch what you get yourself into. <laughs> 